Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald for the Game Boy Advance Part 26. And now we continue our journey down Route 121 leading to Lily Cove. But first and foremost, uh, let's make sure our trap pinch is in good health, and it seems to be. Yay. Alrighty. Now let's fight this woman. Stop! Have a good look at my precious Pokemon. Precious Pokemon? I haven't even seen them yet, so that remains to be seen, woman. Let's see what she has here. Beauty Jessica sent out Klekion. That's hardly beautiful. Go, Trapinch! Alright, we're gonna hit it with a nice dig. And it's gonna use Faint Attack, but it's got Garbage Special Attack, so shouldn't do much. Provided it doesn't get a crit, then it probably does a lot. <laughs> but then again, that applies to pretty much any Pokemon. That lands a crit. Go, dig! And we did... Alright! Yeah, we got a crit! Nice! I like that. 819 experience. Nice. Viper, huh? Yeah, we're gonna keep Trap Pinch out against this. Let me save real quick. In case it, in case it hits glare on me and paralyzes me and starts to screw me over with packs. Oh god. Unstab Crunch from Viper. Oof, that still did a hefty chunk. And we dug a hole. Viper tried to use Crunch again, but it missed. Ha ha ha. And hopefully Trap Pinch's Diggle takes Viper out. And it does! Yay! <laughs> So Viper's defenses aren't that great, so I'm not too surprising. Yay, defeated Beauty Jessica. Oh, how dare you! Don't take it so seriously. Oh, I take my Pokemon battles very seriously. Great, another person to add to the NAF. Bleh. Alright, let's run through here. Okay, we're to move out to Mount Pyre. Yikes, it's Team Aqua. And there they go again. I wonder what kind of mischief they're going to cause next. We'll figure it out soon enough, though. Alright, let's uh, hack this bush down here. See what we got over here. I don't know if this is the Pal Park or not. Uh, oh, Safari Zone. Interesting. Uh, I think, you know what? I think we're going to spend this part doing this. I think we can get our sixth and final Pokemon here, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, do I have a good rod on me? Yeah, I might want to check to see. I'm not too positive. Uh, I got the old rod. Yeah, I do have a good rod. Okay. Yeah, I guess for this part we can, uh, dick around with the Safari Zone. Sure, let's play a Saf uh, we you seem to be without a Pokeblock case. The Safari game will be much more fruitful if you use Pokeblocks. From the Lily Co- Oh, God, we gotta go Lily Co first? Blue. Oh, well. So much for that. <laughs> I guess we're gonna spend most of this part doing more Pokemon battles, I guess. Alright, let's, uh, actually, let's go back this way. I want to get that Pokeball item down there and see what we can get. Wee! And we got a Zinc! Alright. We can boost the special defense of one of our Pokemon. Which one is yet to be t determined. Uh, we'll boost... Eh, uh, we'll boost Soul Rock's special defense, I guess. And uh, what do we got over here? Let's cut this bush down. We can actually go several different directions here. Might as well explore every possible route. Uh, small indent in the wall, using secret power. Nah, I'm good. There's really nothing else here other than a secret base. Blue. Oh, what are you doing? Ahead looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural monument to the spirits of departed Pokemon. I see. Uh, we'll revisit that place later. God dang it! Stupid Mighty Yenna. <laughs> Yourself. God, hate Mighty Yenna. Alright, uh, let's run. I'm not gonna fight. Oh, come on with this can't escape bullshit. Can't escape my foot. Yes, you can. Let me go, you bitch. God damn game. Come on, let me run. God. Thanks a lot. You have to let me take two bites first. Asshole game. Ugh. I freaking hate him. It's can't escape, can't escape, can't escape. Assholes. Anyways. Let's fight this doubles duo. Together, we're fearless. We'll demonstrate how tough we are. Yeah, we'll see how tough you are. I'll be the judge of that. The judge, jury, and the executioner of that. Next up, we... Let's see. We got Spinda and Slacking. Whoa. Yeah, that Slacking has got to go. We're going to have to double... Oh, God. Shit, Ninja and Trap Inch. Okay, I guess we can try to make this work. Um... <laughs> 
Alright, the bigger threat's gonna be the slacking, so we're gonna have to take that out. Dig with the... Uh, we're gonna use the dig on slacking, and we're gonna use... Uh, secret power on the slacking. Why would you slack off when your HP is full? What a waste of a turn. Yay, we power-wise slacking. Woo. Unfortunately, secret power did not do a lot. Ow, and Psybeam just hit my trap inch. Alright, trap inch dug a hole. And we're gonna use... Um... And that cut's not gonna do much. I guess we'll use Fury Cutter on the uh, slacking. That'll build up in power. It might start off weak, but it'll get stronger. Ah, spin the missing attack. Ha uh ha. -uh. Now we dig the slacking. Man, that slacking's gonna take quite a few hits to beat. Alright, we're gonna hit it with another dig, and we're gonna hit it with another Fury Cutter. All my attacks are going towards that slacking. And spin to just put my shit engine to sleep, bastard. Oh, I probably can't touch my shit engine anyway, so I'm not too worried. And I dug a hole. Aha, slacking's paralyzed. And we're gonna Fury Cutter the slacking again, once shit engine wakes up. But it doesn't. Teeter dance and you missed that, haha. -ha. Oh great, now my shit engine's confused and it's asleep. Ugh. Ah, and it confused slacking too. <laughs> awesome. Now slacking's chances of attacking are not, is, isn't that great now. Ah, -ha. spent a turn loafing around there. Alright, we're gonna dig in Fury Cutter slacking now. Shit Ninja woke up. Now, oh, crap, now I'm confused. Aw, oh, damn it. Great. Yeah, confusion hacks could also screw over Shit Ninja. Lovely. Come on, Soul Rock, come on out. You can resist the normal attacks of both of those pokes. Oh, come on, now friggin' Teeter Dance again. Goddamn confusion, I hate it. Let me save in case I get screwed over here. I don't want to get screwed over by Confusion Hacks anymore. Slacking's already confused. You better not hit yourself. Nope, wrong answer. Sorry, game. I'm not getting confused anymore. You're gonna hit through it this time. I'm sick of getting confused. No more. Wrong answer. Come on, hit through it, damn it. Come on. Son of a freaking bitch, come on! God damn it. Good, at least slacking hit itself, thank god. Ugh. This freaking spin does a pain in the ass, I gotta get rid of that next. Rock slide both of them. Come on, Soul Rock, please hit! Thank you. Ugh. Goddamn confusion. Ah, good, slacking's gone. Ugh. Yay, Soul Rock grew to level 45. Great, now it's gonna, oh god, hypnosis on trappage now, great. Uh, stupid Spinda and its confusion and sleeping. I hate it. I hate Spinda. So goddamn annoying. Great, I just hope I don't hit myself now. Yay, Rock Slide hit, thank god. Oh, this battle took a lot longer than it should've. And level 32, yay. Please forgive me, Kate. I don't forgive you for wasting all that time. Ugh. Now let me heal up my pokes since they're pretty battered from that fight. Oh man. Goddamn sleep and confusion. Hate all those. Where's an awakening? I need a berry to wake my trap inch up. Uh, I think we need a chesto berry, yeah. Chesto Berry on Trap Inch, wake him up, and now we gotta revive Shit Ninja. Get up, Shit Ninja. There, revitalized it. And now we got another double battle coming up here. But first, we gotta get past this mighty Enna. Ugh. Aha, your Intimidate doesn't work because my Hyper Cutter neutralizes it. Ha ha ha. Odor Sleuth. Nah, I'm not too worried about that move. Now let's hit my Diana with a powerful dig. Hopefully it doesn't try to roar me away. Haha, ha, missed bite. Come on, Trap Inch, use dig. And he used bite on me. Luckily it doesn't do too much as my Diana's a physical attacker and bite's a special attack in this game. And missed Odor Sooth. Haha. Ha. Dig. 
And Mighty Yenna's done. And I guess a nice experience for Trapinch there. Alright, now we're gonna switch to Blaziken. And we'll leave Shedinja out. I wanna get Shedinja more level ups. Ah, double battle! There's nothing I love more than checking out other people's Pokemon! I want everybody to see the Pokemon I've raised! I don't care about the Pokemon you've raised, all I care about are the ones I rose. The ones that are going to stomp you into the ground. And both are breeders. Breeder Milas and Pat won a battle. Makuhita and Puchiena. Great, unevolved garbage. Time to take it out. Blaze again and Shedinja, go! And we're gonna use Fire Punch on Puchiena, I guess. Actually, we'll use it on Makuhita. And we'll use a nice Fury Cutter to the Puchiena. And Makuhita hits placing him with a fake out, waste of a turn, really. Ah, oh, man. Fury Cutter didn't one shot it. And Puchiana tried to bite Blaze again. That failed miserably. And no more fake outs for you. Blaze can use Fire Punch. And Makuhita goes down. I think it learns Thick Fat, so I guess it, Thick Fat actually reduces the power of Fire and Ice moves used on it. I don't know if that one had it or not. And another Fury Cutter to finish off the Puchiana. Alright, I better have Blaze can take out that Wing Goal. Because that Wing Goal could pose a problem. Especially if it hits a Wing Attack off on a uh, Shedinja. So we're gonna get rid of Wing Goal with a... Um... Rock Tomb. And... We'll use Secret Power on Electrike. Yeah, that'll work. And Wing Goal's done. And next up we got... Ah, Tropius! Fun! And I deck uh, Electric with a nice hidden secret power. And next up... And I'll pass sends out a Shroomish! Okay... I want to... Fire Punch the Shroomish. Because if it least seeds my shit engine, I'm dead. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna use Secret Power on the Tropius. Boom! That did some pretty nice damage to Tropius, and Fire Punch should waste the Shroomish easy. Yep. And next up, nothing else. Now we just got Tropius to double team. And he uses Growth to raise his special attack, which isn't gonna help it much anyway, because Blaziken's gonna kill it with a Fire Punch. Gone! But not forgotten. I want that banana before you faint. <laughs> and the breeders are defeated. Super awesome. Wow, spectacular. Yes, I know I am. Thank you very much. And we found a revive. Hooray. Oh boy, oh boy. We got a ton more trainer battles. Oh my god. We got a ton more to deal with. Alright, before we fight this gentleman, let's see what we got here. Um... I think this gentleman has a Manetric, if I remember correctly. And a Li or a Lydoon, I don't even remember. But either way, I think Solrock will do pretty well here, so... Switch Solrock. Alright, Mr. Gentleman. With my Pokémon, I have traveled to the world's four corners. You might say I have some confidence in my abilities. Yeah, well, your confidence is about to get knocked down into a pit. An endless pit. When I'm through with you. Yeah, it had a Manetric. Alright, Solrock. Time to take it out with a Rock Slide. And Rock Slide gets rid of it, no problem. And Gentleman Walter defeated. Ah, oh, well played! And another one to head to the Nav, great. Oh yeah, yeah. so... Damn it! Freaking hate wild battles now, man, they're so annoying. I guess my repel wore off from the last time. God. Leave me alone. I don't want to battle anymore. Ugh, let me throw up a repel. Otherwise, I'm going to keep running into fights because that's just what's going to happen. Where's the. I want super repel. There we go. Come on, hurry up. I want to get through this route and get the Lily Cove by the end of this part. Hey, we got a Carbos. Alright, which speed? What Pokemon speed do I want to up? I think I want to boost my Swallow's speed even more. So Swallow's base speed has been raised. 
And now we're going to fight this trainer. I don't know what she has on her yet, but... I think we're going to use Swellow for this next fight. Wow, Zigzagoon hasn't found anything in a while. Will you play with my delightfully pretty Pokémon? Delightfully pretty? Yeah, we'll just see how true that statement is. Oh, I thought with all the Whalemur she had on her side, I thought she was going to end up having a Whalemur, but no, it's a Pikachu. Alright, we're going to use Facade on the Pikachu. Oh yeah. Facade that Pikachu to death. Ooh, thank you for just uh, activating my Guts ability. Now if I don't get paralyzed and I hit something, it's going to hurt bad. <laughs> It's really gonna hurt bad. Well, now my facade just got boosted from 70 to 130 base power now. And plus all my other attacks have gotten a little boost as well. So now Aerial Ice will hit a little harder and so will Steel Wing. Unfortunately, I still have the chance to get paralyzed, but, you know, it's a bit of a risk you run with facade. And my Pokémon have never tasted defeat. On their next win, I'm entering them in contest. Alright, time to use my Paralyzed Swallow, which got a nice Guts boost. So now it's gonna rape this guy's entire team. Go Swallow. 130 base power facade in your face in a minute. Depending if I, uh, don't get paralyzed. Shit! Should've known that was gonna happen. I don't care, I'm staying in until I hit. Eventually I'm gonna hit through the Paralysis, it's gonna happen. Ha ha ha! 130 base power facade in your face. Alright, next up we got Shiftry. And now I got a souped up Aerial Ace too. Alright, let's use Aerial Ace. Yeah, Harden ain't gonna save you. I'm guts boosted, baby. Oh damn it. This goddamn power hacks pissing me off. Well, I'd rather be burned. At least I can continue to attack and not be hindered by paralysis. Yeah, but Aerial Ace took it out, no problem. Hey, level 43. I should learn Brave Bird pretty soon. Oh, now what happened here? Okay, and what do we got? Uh, damn it. I wanted to run up here and see if there was a hidden item. I have this routine. Defeat five trainers a day. Guess what? You're number five. Um, could I get a prize instead? Instead of just having the honor of being your fifth opponent? Loudred. Yeah, we'll see how loud it is. Let's facade the loud for fun. Come on, hit through the power hacks, please. Yay. Easily took loud out. And next up we got Vigoroth. Uh, let's see, I think we're going to use Trap Pinch for the... Nah, better not. Yeah, Trap Pinch's defenses aren't really developed yet. When he becomes Vibrava, he can take hits better. And when he becomes Flygon, he takes up a whole lot better. <laughs> Trap Pinch is way too brittle right now. Alright, we'll Fire Punch this Vigor off. Yeah, it's got Vital Spirit, so don't try to put it to sleep, because Vital Spirit allows it to be protected against sleep moves. And Cool Trainer Kristen defeated. No, you're horrid! And... Pokédav. Yeah, you can keep my Pokénav, so that way people can stop bugging me on it. Yay, Max Revive. And I think we finally made it to Lily Cove, well, after we get these two berries at least. And more of the Poopy Song. I don't know why I call it the Poopy Song, I just do. Seriously, the last sound sounds like something going in a toilet bowl, it really does. Hey, we made it to Lily Cove. Whew, it was a long journey here, but we made it. Have you seen that strange cave in the cove at the edge of town? No, I haven't. Yeah, we'll explore this house. Let's see what we got here. This planet's biggest mysteries are there at the bottom of the sea. Somebody said that, but I don't know. And what do you gotta say, Mr. Guy? There's a deep underwater trench between Moss Deep and Pseudopolis. That's what someone told me anyway. Yeah, Moss Deep and Pseudopolis are the last two uh, towns that have, or towns or cities that have gym, uh, gym buildings or whatever. Let's see. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just heal my Pokemon's woman. Yeah, we're gonna call it a Let's Play part once we exit the Pokemon Center. We'll save uh, the rest of exploring for, of Lily Cove for the next part. 
God, my choice of words have not been very good in this LP. I'm sorry if I've stuttered a lot and everything. Anyways, we're pretty much done for now, folks. So stay tuned for Let's Play Pokemon Emerald for the Game Boy Advance Part 27. When we uh, explore the rest of Lily Cove and do some other stuff. See ya, peoples.